And I also want to give a shout out to this vlog's contest. <gasps> oh shit! What the hell? So right now we're about to head out to Fontana. Ivan's picking up a tool cabinet. And the plan for today is we're gonna check on the CRV. It's been having a few issues and we're gonna take off the Plasti Dip on the CRV. It's our first time ever taking off the Plasti Dip. So we're gonna see how that goes. So stay tuned guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but we actually own our own van. Um, we've had it for about three years and it's kind of beat to shit. It only is. because we throw so many different fucking boxes and paint and all this crap that has just demolished this van. I'm surprised it's still standing. Damn, bro, where the hell are you taking us? Uh, we gotta go to my uh, guns and ammo safe. Gotta pick up some ammunition, we're going to war. Yo, this is looking really sketchy right about now. Yeah, I mean, looks good to me. Let's see. Everything works. You got the perfect. keys. You know what? You got the keys, right? And everything's good. Yeah, the keys, there are sets right. of keys for the. Yeah. That's for all three? Yep. Yeah. Alright. She's a We were on our way back to the shop, but Ivan is always hungry. This guy looks like he's about to fucking die. I'm about to die, guys. I need fucking... It's about, about eating the essentials right now. Oh, no barbecue. All right, let's see what you got, bro. You want to see the, the fire? Yeah, let's see the it. The witness? Let's see. Oh, dude, that looks so fucking good. Yeah, we got a three-piece tool cabinet set. Ivan's gonna go ahead and put it together, or now or later? Probably later, I'm gonna clean it up, and then I'm gonna have to organize all my tools, and that's gonna take me a while, but now all their tools are nice and safe. So DJ bought himself a all fucking phone wire. gun. Let me see the van. So you put the soap in this yeah, little, jar, little, little, little container. Cup. And then it this just little shoots cup. out foamy, delicious white stuff. Bruh. I smell something good in here. Bro, the Chinese oh food my that god, Chinese that smells food. so that good. Chicken and teriyaki chicken. I just pulled up the CRV. We're gonna start peeling off the Plasti Dip, but before I peel off the Plasti Dip, I wanna just run through it real quick on the whole process and what needs to be done, and also take one last look at what it was before. So the reason why I'm taking off the Plasti Dip, because um, the person that actually painted this car uh, didn't really do a great job. If I get closer, just was poorly done, and a lot of it has to do with, obviously we use it for work it's a matte black right now look wheels are peeling off already yeah it was just poorly done so overall we're gonna restore it back to its original color we were literally about to start filming the whole process of peeling off this dip but apparently this guy did such a shitty job he coated the entire car with like one layer of dip now we can't peel the car and we're gonna have to DIY. So we're officially gonna try some crazy shit. Hopefully this idea works. Time to move this thing back and I'll show you guys what we're planning in a second. Oh God, always situations going on here, bro. Oh, bro, he's close. DJ came up with the idea of using the pressure washer and seeing if we can just fucking blast it at full speed and hopefully the dip comes off. Our second option, and this is insane, is filling up the foam gun with Goo Gone and let's see if that works. Oh shit, it's actually working. So it looks like the pressure washer did work. 
for the wheels, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work for the actual car. We're gonna see right now. So the water didn't work. It's not taking off the dip. We're gonna have to go ahead and try and fill up our foam gun with Goo Gone. Ah, this is gonna be sketchy. And hopefully it doesn't fuck up the original paint. And I also didn't pitch in for DJ's foam gun. And now I actually have to pitch in 20 bucks. If this shit works though. Goo Gone's in here. Goo Gone's in here. Gonna spray off the simple green. Damn, we're buzzing some Frankenstein. This yeah. Some Frankenstein. Hey, if this works, Shout out to us because now you Plasti Dippers have another option on taking off your Plasti Dip. Uh. We just sprayed the entire car with Goo Gone. Now we're going to try to just spray it all off with the pressure washer. I think this is going to work. Woo! Here we go. You guys, it actually worked. Fuck you, DJ. Hey, the man. It's actually 25, but... Ah, we said 20. <laughs> this Goo Gone process is taking a little longer than we expected, but it is working out for us. So, it's just a really slow process, that's all. As you can see, we've already taken most of the paint off the fenders. Now, everything that we've been doing so far has been like a custom process that we thought out. So I don't recommend that you guys try this. It was practically our only option in order for us to start removing the Plasti Dip today and finish the vlog out. I'm kind of impatient, so I really wanted to get this done. What? Oh, what? Dude, you fucking okay, bro? Oh. EJ, that merch though. Ooh. Yo, cop this shirt. Link in bio. So right when we were given up, DJ had another idea and we applied WD-40 on top of the Goo Gone. And it seems to be working faster. So as you can see, I was like struggling a lot and it just looks much better. It looks like all the paint's actually coming off. Right now, DJ is spraying the WD-40. All right, guys, so after three hours of doing our best to remove the Plasti Dip, we finally finished, well, almost finished. It's about 90% done. There's still a few smudges. The daylight's out, so we're gonna have to wait to take those off probably tomorrow morning. CRV's brake lights are actually out too, so I'm gonna go to AutoZone right now, cop some new brake lights, and switch those out tonight. So I'm gonna head out to AutoZone, and I'm gonna give the camera to Ivan. He's gonna go over his brand new toolbox. He's all stoked about it. Hey guys, so while Frankie goes to AutoZone to pick up the light bulb that we need to replace on his tail lights, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning our new tool chest. Hopefully I can go ahead and get this done today and start organizing all our tools. As a mechanic like myself, we don't like people touching our shit, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that all our tools are nice and safe and locked away. So let me go ahead and get this started. Get some of our cleaner here. Spray this down. And let's just start wiping it down. Just got done cleaning our new tool chest. You can tell it looks way cleaner. All the dust is off. I was going to try and organize all the tools today, but unfortunately, there's no mats for the drawers. Once I get the mats in all the drawers, I'm going to go ahead and then organize everything. But this is pretty sweet. Just look at it. Tons of storage for all our badass tools. Also, a word of advice for all you young guys out there that want to start building cars. You guys want to start buying tools so you guys yourselves can start doing your own work on your own cars. You guys do not need to spend the money on expensive tools from brands like Snap-on and Matco. I myself could have easily just spent like five to ten thousand dollars on a bitchin toolbox but i choose not to because you know even the cheapest tools can get the job done there's nothing wrong with buying tools such as husky uh, stanley craftsman even harbor freight if it can get the job done then by all means it's good it's a good tool another word of advice is it's not about the tool it's how you use the tool so like i said guys do not spend your money on snap on on maco buy cheap stuff so you that way you can progressively learn as you learn you can actually start charging people to you know do these kind of fix on cars and eventually you can work your way up and buy expensive tools but honestly you guys do not spend your money if you're on the budget on expensive tools that's my word of advice to you guys all right here's a quick update i got the tail lights and ivan's backing up right now we got the light bulbs ivan's gonna go ahead and switch them out well i guess for the crv as far as i know what i'm seeing there's three uh bolts right here probably 10 millimeter but they also have a Phillips screw head so you can just take it off with the regular screwdriver. So I've just taken off the last bolt right now and I believe the headlight should just pop off. So 
Oh, yep, just nice. like I, there it is, just like I thought. The tail light just comes right off, so now we just gotta switch out the light bulb. Should be this one, so let's find out. You're not holding it, right? All right, take it off. That's it. Hit it again, Angel. And that's how you change your brake lights in five minutes. Now, before I wrap up this vlog, I want to thank everyone that's been buying our merch and supporting our back to school sale. We do have a huge mystery box that's out right now, and it's only out for a limited time. We were actually supposed to cut it off last month, but we're extending it for you guys all the way up until the end of this month. So if you haven't purchased your back to school mystery box, be sure to get that ASAP. We are gonna end it soon. I also wanna give a shout out to our YouTube contest winner. I'm gonna display you right here. So make sure to contact us. We're gonna ship you guys out a care package. Now, if you guys wanna win our YouTube contest, all you have to do is comment. We're gonna be picking a winner on our next vlog. So stay tuned for that. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna head out. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.